All right, here we are, 133 10th Ave, West 10th Ave, here in Conshohocken, and uh, this one's got potential. So let me uh, show you the outside a little bit. Go around, see the street down there, and slowly spin you around and show you where you are. So we're gonna go through and then show you the backyard. It does have a garage, uh, but we're gonna give you the tour. So hopefully <laughs> you don't have to see it in any other way. <laughs> All right, so here we are, front porch, pretty nice, lots of space, front door, and here we go. So I'm torn, you know, I'm an investor myself, and uh, this one with a little bit of sweat equity can uh, turn out to be an awesome property from the rental aspect. And uh, I'm not sure, you know, if that wants to be someone's end goal, but uh, I'm gonna hit everything here. So there's the old fireplace, likely decommissioned, but uh, you can always add it back if Conshohocken permits. Big, and I gotta say, this is a pretty big dining room. Decent windows uh, throughout. They're not ancient. They are double class and vinyl. So look at that view, spin you around. Now the kitchen, I was torn during my first evaluation because look at it. Updated with granite. You have a, a tile backsplash. You put some stainless steel appliances in here and you're, you're pretty good. So even the floor was updated. So uh, there you go. A little pantry right there. I will show you, I have not opened it. So you never know what's in it. And I'll back out of here so you can get the view of the kitchen and I'll show you the backyard. So pretty, uh, pretty decent size. Now I'll spin you around slowly. And look at this, so back porch. Good size, beautiful backyard. And more importantly, the neighbor here keeps their backyard immaculate too. So it really does, you know, for being in Conshohocken, you have a fair amount of green space here. So there you go. Spin you around, show you the house. And uh, we're gonna take a quick little walk to the garage. You can see how nice and neat everything is. So there it is. I'll spin you around, get the whole view. Look at that, that's a shot right there. Beautiful. So just a normal one car garage here. You can see the alleyway back here is paved. So that's what it looks like. There you are. And uh, let's take you in the back door. We'll do the basement and then the upstairs. And uh, as always, any questions, just let me know. I'm always here to help. But uh, this one, like I said, this has some legit potential given the location and the uh, different strategies of what you can do. So here we are in the kitchen. Remember the granite, pretty much an eating kitchen if you wanna set up a table there. So there you go. Make sure we saw every single angle of this kitchen without falling over. And down the basement. So the basement is larger than I thought and has a walkout. So we'll go down immediately to the left and here, laundry. And then if you wanna walk out to the Bilco doors. So newer appliances, everything here is as is and staying. You have the sink there, actually a double sink. You've got your tank on the right here. And look at this area. So great, I mean, little workshop space, whatever you want. I've seen these basements finished and uh, you got a decent amount of headroom. So really wide beams based on when this was constructed. Your main water supply comes in there. You can see that was updated. I love this design. My grandfather used to do that. I think it's so slick uh, and simple. So that was mid 2013. So you're seven years deep on that. Well, McLean, everybody who knows, well, <laughs> boilers, that is very solid. They can run pretty much forever. Uh, looks like we had some of the updates on them and the maintenance records. And here's your panel. You can see that, 100 amp. There we are. I love basements. That's where all the real information is. <laughs> all right, so up we go. I'll show you the dining room again. There you are. And this one's clean too. It's been cleaned out, ready to rock and roll, which makes it nice. You don't have to do any of that on day one. It's already been done for you. Now upstairs features three bedrooms. Uh, the one is more of an office in my personal opinion, but it has a closet. And remember that was the standard when these homes were built. 
There you are, closet back there. Ceiling fans, I believe in most of the rooms. And uh, if you can, here's the view, the backyard. So we'll take you back here. And we have the bathroom coming up here on the left, which you're gonna wanna renovate, I, I assume. Toilets here, and then the sink is over there. You do have a window, it is frosted, but you know, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna tackle that project. Here is the middle bedroom, about the size of what I grew up in. There you are. And the quote unquote, well, main bedroom. You can look out and you can see these windows. So up close, they are newer-ish. I can probably get you some information on it. Front street and there we are. So let's bring you down slowly and we'll recenter this. There we go. And down we go. So that is the rundown and this will be coming very, very soon. Literally as soon as I list it uh, and have some computer time. So that's what we're going for. And as always, any questions, reach out, matt at lensateam.com. I'm gonna just situate you out front so you can get another glimpse of the front. Here you are. There you go. See more of the street. Let my eyes adjust. And tell you what, I will leave you right there. Any questions, just let me know.